with the pictures released of the spin of the Lego Ninjago movie characters, I've decided to do a thoughts video based on only the pictures. I don't have I have like one or two of the people from the actual series. Um so I just decided maybe I should just do a review based on the pictures. Um because well these minifigures are very interesting. And some more interesting than not. Um and let's get into it. So first we have a, so this is the Gong and Guitar Rocker. I didn't remember his name, so I really just had to briefly go and um, Google it. Uh, recolor of the guitar piece, I think. Um, hair piece is okay. He's really not even a main character in the film. He, I don't even think he has even a line. So it's really weird why they included him. Do him all the legs, as you can see in the skull, the Ch Japanese or Chinese writing. I'm not sure what it is. It might even be Hong Kong. I'm not even. I'm not even remotely sure. So instead of trying to just guess, I'm. I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, yeah, this is probably one of the weaker ones in this series, in my opinion. Uh, we do have some sidearm printing. Now, I don't know if you have any sidearm printing there. It's just a weaker minifigure, in my opinion. Oh, zoom out. Uh, Shark Army General Number One, a recolor of the slushy, which is actually really impressive. I'm glad we got recolor slushy. Um, cape print, uh, new cape piece. I'm not sure. I think that might be plasticky, just like from looking at the one sec. Uh, just from looking at that. Um, might even just be a plasticky piece. Um, you, printing's actually impressive. You could just use that torso for a military general, which is probably why it's more one of the more desirable pieces. Uh, minifigures, <laughs> um, and impressive hairpiece. I'm actually, I actually might just buy this minifigure offline. Next is a, uh, uh, one second. Shark Army Great White. Again, if I don't know, I just have to Google uh, their names. Um, Really just takes a bit of time out, but just pause the video. Um, very impressive recoloring of that uh, helmet piece. I actually like that. Black fish. I think this is the first time we're getting a fish in black. Nice flame piece coming out of it, too. Uh, one of the weaker ones of the series. Kind of weird printing all around. Nice facial printing, though. Really be impressive. Uh, Come on, swipe. All right, Jay. Um, nice scarf piece. I think that's a new piece. And that is a brand new piece for his hair. New cell phone print. Eh. I wish that we got maybe not him, as it would have been more useful, in my opinion. I think that maybe they should have given us, you know, something else. Maybe a camera or a flash or something. But maybe not... A picture, maybe a picture of scenery, but definitely not a picture of him. Uh, amazing leg printing. I really can't tell of uh, his torso printing. Um, but eh, this is definitely one of the weaker ones, in my opinion, with the gong and guitar rocker. Oh, it's Misaku or Misako. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Again, uh, Lego Ninjago really wasn't my cup of tea, and I really didn't even like the movie that much. Uh, the minifigures in it were really good, though. Um, new hair and piece with that. It's dual molded with that bow, I think it is. Again, it's, it's only a front view picture, so I'm not able to tell everything about the minifigure. Um, amazing purse. I don't know if that's a new piece or not, but... Whatever it is, it's definitely a recolor because I've never seen any piece like in that color as a hand accessory before. Amazing torso and leg printing. Uh, no uh, arm printing, but still pretty impressive leg and torso printing. And it matches up perfectly, you can tell. Oh, the sushi chef. All right, this is probably my favorite minifigure. Uh, I like that piece that was from the Lego Pirate in... I think it was series 13, I'm not quite sure. Um, 
but reprinting of that, which is very impressive, um, which is very useful for Lego City um, bald people, too, and also pirates. You could also use that. Nice cleaver piece. This is a cheaper way to get it, as the only set I've ever really seen it in. I might be wrong on this again. It was in the Fantastic Beast briefcase set, which I do own. Um, but probably not going to do a review on it because I pr accidentally smashed it. Nice uh, sushi pieces. Um, there's two. One he holds and then one that goes on that to make it look like he's going to cut more. Um, very useful for stop motion, actually. Um, sorry about that. Um, next is... Does he have a specific name? So it is just Lloyd. I thought it, maybe he'd have a specific name or something. But nope, just Lloyd. Uh, I really do like that new uh, hood piece. I don't know if that's a neck accessory or a hat piece. I think it is a hat piece, but it might also be a neck accessory. That would actually be interesting if it was a neck accessory. Um, nice uh, unorganization there. That's actually pretty impressive. A uh, nice spoon piece and bowl. Um, and nice, a bit of nice printing down there. Um... I don't know if there's any back printing. I don't know if there's any back printing on any of these minifigures. As again, these are just pictures I got. Next is a Spinjitsu Training Nia, I think. I, I, the main characters I'm just going to call by their name. A uh, nice uh, hairpin. I think that's a recolor of roses um, with that dual molded item there. Uh, nice time we're getting... I think this is the first time we're getting the machetes in that chocolate brown. Um, but again, I might not, I might be wrong. Um, I'm not the Lego expert of the world. Well, um, kind of a blandish minifigure in my opinion. Just gold, black, and white. I mean, that's a color scheme we've seen on many Lego Ninja minifigures. Do you wish that we got some impressive, maybe like different colors? Next is Sensei Wu. I love that cornflakes piece. 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 Um, amazing hat piece. Um, uh, not really all that positive about this minifigure, though. Just kind of one of the more bland Sensei Wu's. You could just buy him. I get maybe that skirt piece is exclusive to him. If it is a skirt piece, I don't know. But, um... I'd actually just prefer buying a set with the with, uh, Sensei Wu. Oh, Garmadon. Okay, this minifigure is freaking awesome. All right. The hat piece, the head piece, the shoulder, that spoon. But I do wish that they didn't give us the same accessories that they gave. Which got the same accessories. The bowl was recolored, but the spoon was overall just the same as it is on this minifigure. Um... Nice printing on the arms, um, and they didn't even, we could still use this for pajamas of a kid, um, but, eh, definitely one of the more stronger minifigures. Oh, this guy. Uh, don't know what his name is at this point, I'm not even going to Google it. Not even a main character. Um, the other characters, I just didn't remember their name. This one, eh, actually nice headpiece. Stud shooter, really? Um... Lego. They, they they couldn't have just given us a normal gun piece. Uh, I get Lego doesn't want to be violent, but that would have been a lot better than a stud shooter. I hate the I hate stud shooters. I um um so fish piece and silver. Do wish we got a recolor. Maybe an orange. Like that orange that's on the that would have been really interesting. Um, and more favorable to this minifigure, in my opinion. Um, but I'm not, I'm definitely not going to get him only for his headpiece or really anything. Oh, it's a Zane. Alright, Zane's headpiece, very impressive. And that backpack piece, um, uh, that, uh, is used on the Jungle Book Square. I think he had it first, though. Um, which is pretty darn impressive. Nice sweater coloring, which you can use for any minifigure as it. It's got a white undershirt, um, so you could use that for any minifigure. You could even use it as a uh, mannequin on a mannequin, too. Um, impressive pant design. Uh, 
I do wish that we didn't get the same printing head that is literally on every Zane minifigure that of this kind of quality. Um, the I don't, I don't know, no, like of the more like anime quality because like in series, I think it was eight and nine, they went to a more like anime quality um, of these characters. Um, like every anime quality, like Zane, it just has that same print. I don't know if he has any back printing. Yeah. Cole, love that boombox recoloring. Um, definitely would get this minifigure just for that. But the hair piece is amazing. Along with that jacket, which you can use on yellow minifigures. And the, the axle, like Lloyd Garmadon, is very... Um, Unorganized with part of the shirt tucked in and then part of the shirt tucked out. Symbols, which you're probably not going to understand. I think it's that a lightning bolt? Wait, why didn't they just like, give him like an earth on the shirt? That would have been an interesting uh, Easter egg. Oh, this guy. Love that mace piece. Love that helmet piece. Again, same thing with the fish. Not the silver. Okay, we have the fish and silver in so many things. The Zodiac Master. I think he has fish and silver. If you don't, like, still, we have the fish and silver already. Give it to us in a new color, Lego, please. I get they're trying to go along with the movie here, but most of these characters that, like, are like this were, like, in the movie for literally, like, a second. We... We, they can give us a new recoloring. Get they're trying to make these more affordable, but I still would like a recoloring. All right. I do like that mace piece though. Oh, it's uh, some uh, some technician. Uh, Batman cameo. Love that. Computer in black had that. Cup in red. Yep. That hair piece. I think that is a recolor. If not, as I've, I have one and it's like a dark brown. This one's more of a like lighter tone. Um, but I do wish that maybe we did get the computer in like a red or a green, not just the casual black and white as the, I think it was series two or three programmer um, had it in uh, black and then the female programmer of series 19 had it in a white tone. Um, nice camera piece. I actually do like that. And a pen. Um, this minifigure is probably a good technician that you could use on anyone. Um, probably you might want to stay away from using this in stop motions. Um, mainly because of the Batman cameo. Uh, but still, just impressive minifigure. Oh, it's Kai. I guess it's called Kendo Kai. Don't care. That helmet piece is really impressive and looks similar to the um, sword fencer from series 13, but it isn't. Um, sticks, I do wish we got something besides these sticks. Maybe the fencing sword in that brown definitely would have been a lot more impressive. So if I get they're trying to stay realistic and with the movie, but I do wish that we got a brown fencing sword. We have the, the fencing sword in silver with two minifigures. And in gold with a swashbuckler. Why can't we get it in brown? I think Lego doesn't like recoloring. Shoulder piece is similar to Samurai's that we've gotten before. Uh, hair piece, I think that's new. Not quite sure. Um, um, new, impressive face printing um actually um but eh. oh and also do pardon the words down there um i didn't get to blur them out so just ignore them um side note probably should have said that at the beginning of the video um next it's garmadon with weird hair again i don't really care about the names really not the biggest lego ninjago fan um Really, I'm not. Uh, their sets and builds are pretty amazing, but again, I never really watched the show or cared much to do so. Um, I do. I have watched all the seasons 
of the show, um, like, last year, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, uh, but definitely, um, I never watched it as a kid, probably because I just really didn't understand any of it, ninjas who just spin like a tornado, again, really weird concept, never understood it, never really cared, um, nice camera pee. I do like the camera. Uh, same color. We have it in black with so many, many figures. We do get it in blue, for like, once. But I do wish that we got it in, like, a red or maybe orange. I get going around as a dark person, but this is... Okay, no dark person wears this outfit, okay? Um, nice tie, actually. I do like how they... Did that tie piece pants? It don't really match the shirt, in my opinion. Um, dual four dual molded arms and uh, a two by two printed tile. Again, wish we got that camera and a new car. All right, it's Garmadon. All right, this is normal Garmadon. All right, amazing um, recolor of that thing. Finally, okay, we have had a few recolors in this series, but this one is finally. Finally, finally, okay, I'm going to stop saying finally. Um, amazing uh, spear piece up up there. I don't know if that's new or not, but it's amazing. Amazing armor and uh, front piece. Um, eh, just one of the more blander minifigures. I do like the recolor of the hat and the spear piece. Don't know if that's a recolor or if it's just new. Oh, it's Ninja Lloyd. Okay. Why do we have two Lloyds in this set and, like, two, three Garmadons, but, like, no other character has more than one? Like, come on. We couldn't get, like, at least, like, if you're going to give us two Lloyds, all right? Okay, I'm sorry. From watching the show, Lloyd is a bratty kid. I'm sorry. Uh... I don't want two of him in this mystery pack. Do like that sword piece. I do like that he comes with that mask and a hair piece. Ugh, just why did they have to give us two of him? I really prefer the other Lloyd better than this ninja Lloyd. He comes in expensive sets. Anyone that has money can go and buy that without buying a bunch of mystery packs to get him. I would really have preferred... Not to get a two by two tiled blueprint of his dragon that he rides in the movie. Come on, like, I'm sorry, I'm ranting, okay, but I don't care. You don't give us this as an accessory and then followed by a sword. Lame accessory, good accessory. Oh. Um, but definitely a more interesting. Wow, definitely more interesting minifigure. Uh -huh. Oh, and pop. And Pop Girl. <laughs> yeah, Unikitty cameo. Um, and you can't... That is just amazing, okay? That's one of LEGO's own creations was Unikitty. And I'm glad that Unikitty gets a cameo. Recolor of that teddy bear is amazing. I don't know if that's the Harley Quinn. I don't think that is the Harley Quinn hair piece. It's definitely not the Suicide Squad the Harley Quinn's. Ponytails, but it's just amazing either way. I think it is anymore. Yeah, I think it is. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 90% sure that that is anymore. Um, nice recall of the tutu. Eh, it's really not much to offer. Um, so that has been my two cents on these mini figures. Um, please like and subscribe for more content, and click the notification bell so you won't miss me ranting ever again. And with that, bye.